Hello, friends. This is Pastor Ben Pierce. Looking at our study of who died and made you king, we looked at the last two weeks at a king named Rehoboam. Now we're looking at Jeroboam. Jeroboam was the first king of the northern tribes of Israel. He reigned for 22 years, so we're looking at about 930 to 909 B.C. If I could classify uh, Jeroboam as uh, what we would say about his reign, it would be this, wasted opportunities. You know, if you look back at your life, you're bound to see some times that maybe you didn't make the right decision, and man, that was an opportunity, I just blew it. That's exactly what's going to happen for Jeroboam. A little bit of a backstory, as you'll remember from last week. Jeroboam served under Solomon. He looked after his forced labor. God, God came to Solomon and said, you got to repent. He did not. He continued to follow after the idols. A, a prophet named Ahijah came to Jeroboam and said, I'm going to make you king. Now, here, here's what happened. Solomon loved Jeroboam. He was a good worker. He, he was a good advisor. But when he found out that the prophet had made him, was going to make him king, uh, Solomon got ready to pursue him, chase him. He, went, he goes to Egypt to hide. Solomon dies. He comes back. Rehoboam makes that bad decision that he was going to try to put for more forced labor on the northern kingdom. The northern kingdom is going to then appoint Jeroboam as king. Now, why do I call this a wasted opportunity? 1 Kings chapter 11, verses 38 through 39, that same prophet Ahijah tells Jeroboam, if you'll do what is right, if you'll follow after the Lord with your whole heart, then I will make your line, you will have a descending line, you will have a dynasty, son after son after son. Opportunities like this don't come around every day. <laughs> you ever heard that? You're buying a house, you're buying a car, you probably heard that before. Well, this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Jeroboam, your dynasty could be as great as David if you'll just follow after the Lord. So that is exactly what, what Jeroboam has a decision to make. So when he comes back, and he is appointed king uh, of the northern kingdom, then, then what's going to happen is this. He, he's going to have to make some wise decisions. Well, Jeroboam doesn't. <laughs> With the kingdom divided, he doesn't want to take a chance of his people going to the south to worship. So what he's going to do is he's going to make sure that they stay in the northern kingdoms to worship. So he builds up the city of Shechem, he puts idols in Dan and Bethel and basically says, you don't have to go down there to worship. You can stay right here. What he does is he ends up making his own cult, if you will. People, he got rid of the Levites and people that should not have been priests, he made them priests. And you can imagine this did not sit well with God. He violated his promise. What a wasted opportunity. You know, God gives us opportunities all the time, doesn't he? Opportunities to walk in His Word, opportunities to obey, opportunities to show His love. If you're walking by the Spirit, you'll know when those opportunities come up. And my prayer is, is that you'll make the right decision. Jeroboam did not. And he leads the people into idolatry. And that's going to haunt the northern kingdom until they go into exile. Until next time, friends, God bless.